You know this video is really less about me doing her day in life, more about realizing we are just one in the same. Good morning everyone. As you guys know, I am in my Martha Stewart era. I have been for years at this point. Today we are vlogging like we are Martha Stewart, but in my life, which honestly is really not that different. But I am gonna make the engagement chicken. If you guys have seen this going viral, Jackie's been talking about it. It's Ina Garden's recipe. And my cousin Alyssa and her boyfriend Colby, they've been dating for a while and I'm ready for them to get engaged. So I'm tricking them and having them come over today and eating this engagement chicken because I want to go to a wedding. So anyways, if you guys are new here, welcome back, subscribe. I searched Martha Stewart's daily routine and she starts her day off with the green juice from her garden. And while that is goals for me, I don't have a big enough garden and also I really need coffee. But I too would like to start my day off with the green juice. I'm gonna order athletic greens. I take a shot every time I say, oh, I need to order athletic greens in these vlogs. But I'm gonna do it while I'm in this drive-thru because it's really, really long. Yesterday, I'm not gonna lie, um, I was so anxious and I was just in like the worst mood and I was like losing my mind. Nothing that a good night's sleep can't fix, guys. So what does Martha Stewart do? I'll tell you. Martha Stewart is a businesswoman. She's a mogul. She's a chef. She's a gardener. She's charitable. I'm doing all of these things today. Minus the like extreme wealth. Did you know that woman's 81 years old? Damn, I'm the story. You're a rich ass bitch. Put your ass on the ground. And say that shit. Hey, damn, I'm the story. You're a rich ass bitch. Like, I've never seen someone look so good for 81. That's crazy. Crazy. Also, for the record, I did just order my athletic greens. And you know what? To say something. I have put off having the Apple headphones because I've been using my Bose ones that I actually got for a deal and I love them. Like, I'm obsessed and they're probably like my most used thing that I own. I find them anywhere, literally anywhere. Like, they've gone missing and I'm like, what am I supposed to do on my like walks and stuff? And I can't go without it. I need to be editing in person, whatever. So, is it time to just pull the plug and get the Apple headphones and hope that the Bose ones pop up? Because I don't want to repurchase the same ones that I already have. You know what I mean? But they're really good and those are only 300 and the Apple headphones are $500. Like, I'm sorry. That is literally crazy. Yes, can I just get the kale egg bites? Perfect. Good, how are you? Right. Sorry, you need to... Don't worry about it. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Perfect, thank you. This is my friend Keenan. Oh, but you know what? Martha Stewart does start her day off with a workout. And so do I. You know this video is really less about me doing her day in life, more about realizing we are just one in the same. We both have very basic schedules, but hey. Oh, I love Martha Stewart's podcast. One, her episode of Snoop Dogg is incredible. But I'm listening to Not Skinny But Not Fat with Karamo. And like, how have I not known about this man before in my life? Because I'm so obsessed with him. Like, I'm not even done with the podcast episode. Like, I'll finish it now on my way to weightlifting. Um, but I am obsessed with this man. Also, last night, um, Lauren and I, we've been going to some Mavs games recently. And I've decided my new latest, like, fixation personality trait is being a Mavs fan and I like we had to leave early and I was like watching the score on the ESPN app like I don't know what has gotten into me but we beat them sorry Steph Curry losers <sighs> anyways I'm off to weightlift guys I oh wow okay the back from weightlifting and in the middle of weightlifting class I realized that my hookahs are so dirty Martha would never come up excuse me oh look comes to playing my raft came on I will send ten dollars on Venmo to anyone who can guess my top Spotify song. I don't even know if like my friends and I have talked about how much I love this song. In the I mean I've definitely posted with it, shared it. If you know I'm sending you ten dollars, okay? And then I will reveal it tomorrow. Um anyways I love the Spotify rap because clearly I love the attention. So I'm feeling really good about that. Um my anxiety commission is gone and my shoes are embarrassing and Martha would literally never and also I don't think Martha would wear Uggs to a charity meeting, I think she would wear like Prada loafers. So I've gotta do that. I'm gonna be washing these shoes immediately. They're not even making it up the stairs because I'm so horrified. I'm in my closet thinking, what would Martha wear? And something is telling me, you know, I don't even think she would wear jeans. I think she would wear like slacks, but I don't even know if I have, do people even say slacks anymore? I don't know if I have like, 
I think I'm gonna have to go jeans. So I'm thinking like, what does she wear? And I feel like she wears like a luxury turtleneck, which I did get this on sale from Favorite Daughter, and it's a very expensive turtleneck uh, that I did not pay full price for, but I bet Martha would. From Favorite Daughter, I got it like half off or something. But a nice turtleneck, because it is chilly out. I'm thinking a nice blazer to go with like her mogul energy. Um, I gotta do the loafers because Martha's just a classy woman and she's probably not wearing Uggs every day. Okay, so this is that look. I'm gonna go shower and I'll be right back. I feel like Martha gets ready in robes. I'm filming a ton of like branded Instagram stories. Like, serious question. Barely anything sprays out of this. Or am I just wrong? Am I even supposed to put this underneath makeup? <coughs> oh, under or over makeup. Filming some stuff that I need to send in tonight. I have actually got a lot of stuff tomorrow. We have a launch. Well, in real time, we have a launch that's already out for the Okine Puff Bag, which I'm really excited for. So I've got to get text scheduled. I've got to get all that. I'm just waiting for Jess. I think we still, I think Jess needs to put it on the website still and then I can do that stuff. I have all the socials and everything ready to go. So it's just a big day, a launch day, preparing for that. And then I just have a lot of random branded stuff because it's quarter four. So this month's always really busy. We're gonna go do my makeup and get ready for the day. did a full face of makeup today which still only takes me nine minutes and I'm trying to get better about that that's one of my goals this month that I don't know when I'm gonna get to that but I do want to get a lot better at my makeup here's the outfit I actually think it's really cute I very cozy I feel like it's you know somehow mature and like it's, it's, hopefully it's good enough for Martha okay guys I have a quick little lunch because I'm actually gonna be in like some meetings and stuff during lunch time and I'm getting so hungry. I got Chop Shop. I did get my green juice, not from my garden, but I only have like an hour right now to get a bunch of stuff sent into brands, get stuff posted for the O kind. This is the bag. We are finally launching. That's already out as of right now, but I'm so excited for anything that we've ever released. Like honestly, it's the scarves I like love so much. Literally right here because I wear it all the time. But this bag is just something that you use literally every single day. Anyways, I need to post everything and have all that stuff ready. I'll still be working later today, and I need to send in a bunch of just random work stuff. So, getting that done, and then I'm going to head I have to stop at Apple because I did order the headphones. I use them literally every day, and I have to just, like, bite the bullet and just stop complaining. But I do think that's crazy for headphones. Like, anyone else? Like, they're literally scamming us, everyone. Okay, I got this stupid $550 headphones uh, and no one is a bigger idiot than me, okay? Because I finally bought them and I ended up buying them. So I just wasted a year without having them. You know what I mean? Anyways, um, I'm actually on my way to a little like meeting with the charity that I'm working with, which I'm actually very excited for. I've like always wanted, I feel like it's harder like as you become an adult because with charity work or just anything that's like in that realm, especially if you're in like a sorority or something, not that I was, but there's always like something to do, something that your school partners with, whatever. And then when you become an adult, you just like don't really know where to go. Or at least I felt that way. Or if you're like not at a church or like whatever. Um, so anyways, I got asked to be a chair. The family place, which I'm really excited for. Um, which I'll be doing a bunch of stuff with them in the next year. It's a Texas-based organization um, against domestic abuse. And one in three women in Texas are abuse. I have a lot of ideas and things that I want to do. And then I'll be working on like certain things. I'll, you guys will see this in the vlogs. I'm really excited. But I have a meeting with them in 30 minutes. So I'm going to go head over there. And then after that, I will be making my Ina Garden engagement chicken. Which I should have made a Martha Stewart recipe now that I'm thinking about it. But I've been wanting to make this engagement chicken. And I need Alyssa to get engaged. So that's what we're doing. Done with the meeting. It went really great. Um, I got to see so much stuff and learn even more. I'm very excited, so I will be like bringing you guys, like it'll be a thing that everyone can get involved in. Um, I'll keep you guys posted. Now it is engagement chicken time, okay? I haven't even seen the garden yet today. I was just thinking about that. I've got a bunch of work too, because we're doing a, the Dallas Book Club next week. I don't even think I've mentioned it. First meeting is December 7th, not first, at Wild Detectives and Bishop Arts at 7 p.m. and we're reading It Starts With Us. Hopefully you've read it before then, if not, like literally just come whenever. And then we're gonna go from there. Lots of things coming together. 
favorite plays ever. Getting a little mini card because I'm gonna make you Get engaged, and look where I am. You called me right as I was about to start the chicken. Isn't that crazy? Wait, the timing of that. I know, and look, I have a chicken and everything. I'm Martha Stewart today. Oh my god. Oh yeah, no dude, I mean business. You're not fucking Do you happen to have a, no, well it's gonna take an hour and a half and you guys are gonna get here at six, right? Yeah, around there. Yeah, so I have to start now because Gotta put it in the oven, then I gotta, gotta get back to work. But does everyone love my apron? These are available. So cute. Love the Bremening Housewife crew that you're wearing. It's vintage, I wore it yesterday. I know, look at us guys. Bremening Housewife and also my kitchen. And also, let us not forget, I was gonna cook like to actually use this, but I like, okay like we have a cutting board and it's like, actually a really beautiful, very nice cutting board. I actually need that. It's awesome and it's really good for hosting. To like do a little cheese board moment or whatever. But this one I want to like look beautiful and I don't wanna, like I want it to still be here so I'm just gonna use my big one. But yeah, um, I'll keep you posted. I just got my coffee out. I'm about to, you know, play the Texas country and that's what I, I mean business. I need better lighting in this house. It's really not that great. You know what my issue is? I will never again, even though I love this house. Don't get me wrong. This is like literally my, I love this house. And it's so cozy, like I can't even, I guess I'll show you guys, why not? I can't really tell if you can tell how cozy looking it is because you can't really see the colors. The leaves have changed colors, you literally can't see it all. It is time to make the engagement chicken. And actually, it looks much easier than you'd think besides the touching the raw chicken. I don't have an actual roasting pan either, which kind of sucks, but I gotta remove the chicken giblets. I don't even like want to show you guys because I'm like not gonna get monetized. And when you, I'm really in like my in my like yelling country music phase. I was driving around today in such a good mood because I was yelling Luke Combs. That's what you gotta do these days, you know. Oh god, I should probably cut these things first. This is gonna be trash for the giblets. I just heard about these on Thanksgiving. Oh god, I see the aura ring off. And I'm okay. No, 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 no. But in all seriousness, I really wanted to learn how to make this for dinner parties because having a roasted chicken and then just making the sides would be amazing. What the other issue that I'm really running, okay. Oh wow, oh wow, woo, ooh, ooh, wow, guys. Start with the chicken about four to five pounds, a whole chicken, and the first thing is lots of salt. You want to have Wait, but what about the giblets? Fantastic flavor. How do I know that the giblets are gone? False alarm, no giblets. I just remembered that my stepdad said they normally come in a bag, and then I looked on the package, no giblets. We're good, we're good. And the first thing I'm gonna do is pat it dry, both it inside and out, and pat it. Just like. Guys, there's literally giblets here, and I was looking at the wrong side. I can't even talk about it. I literally can't even talk about it. Honestly, I just blacked out once I saw the chicken, okay? I literally cannot even talk about it. Nope, we're not talking about it, thank you. It's this side, because you tie it. <laughs> you would be like, Kinsey, why aren't you smarter? And like, I don't know. If you guys aren't too grossed out. Once this ends up being incredible, my ego is just gonna be through the work. You know what, some people do ego work like to get rid of their egos, and then I do this. Because I would like a bigger ego, you know? So next, you quarter a lemon and you add half the lemon. Just cook it, grind and all. Take some garlic and you put the whole thing in there. Don't even peel it. Hey, Gina. Okay, into a roasting pan. I don't really have one of those. Olive oil, you use your hands. So I'm gonna use my hands, okay. You know what, this really isn't as hard as it seems once you realize the right side of the chicken, you're not a idiot like me. I don't think I've, I need to redo the salt and pepper. I haven't washed my hands this frequently, AKA every two seconds, since the first week of COVID. I'm really liking this though, I think. This part, this part I knew something about. You guys have gotta trust me. This part I didn't know something about. We've got kitchen twine. 
ties the chicken together. And Ina told me that you do this because you want it to cook evenly and this ensures the chicken will cook evenly. I'm gonna tie these together. I feel like a fully formed adult after doing this. Gotta make sure that stays, I think it will. Yeah. Next up, since the chicken is pretty much ready, I have this for around the chicken. Cut up some lemon grinds, onion, salt, pepper, olive oil, and again, she said clean hands are the best kitchen utensil. Interesting, because I've never, obviously, like, just had a straight up lemon, but apparently, like, caramelizes really well. So, that's what we're gonna have around the chicken. My eyes are watering now that I did that, oh my god. Oh my god, they're watering really bad. I'm gonna do the lemon, so it's a little bit spread out. I think I'm gonna do too much onion. My eyes right now are really, really watering. Look at this. Oh! Oh my god, my Fidelity guy is calling me. Uh, Martha also invest. So, anyways. For the taste, make sure it's really well seasoned. For sauce, you want it to be really highly seasoned. So delicious and really tasty if you make it. It's now time to water the plants. I need to get rid of the basil and rip some things up. I don't have a trash bag up here, that's the only thing. It's a very therapeutic hobby in rosemary. Like, I actually, now that I'm like thinking about everything that I'm doing, and this is like my life, it's really crazy. You are done for. You are done for. You are done for. Wow. Okay, we've gotten a lot of stuff done. We are ready for the launch tomorrow. It is only 5.30 p.m. and it feels like it's 10 p.m. And I still have a comedy show to go to tonight. I'm very excited, I've been wanting to go to comedy shows. So I haven't been to one like since moving back to Texas four day weekend i think it's the one that like dallas sites and everyone posts about lauren's been so we're going um i am so proud of our puff bag stuff like the photos are incredible like everything is incredible the bag is incredible like i'm just so excited so, depending on when this goes up i think this is either today or tomorrow is the last day of the cyber week sale so all the rubbing housewife stuff is currently on sale Go check that out, everything you guys are seeing right now. Like, guys, oh my god. I literally, like, oh, cannot believe that I made that. Okay. So I'm obviously hosting tonight. I got new math because this, someone had an accident on it. A very sore, sore subject. Honestly, want to buy, like, 20 of these just to have them, but this is my favorite, like, thing ever. So that mat is going there. But, like, look at how cute that is. If that isn't the cutest thing you've ever seen, what a good Christmas gift, just saying. All right, I'm taking it off now. It's time, guys. It's looking beautiful. Oh, wow. I can't believe I made this myself. Is that not crazy? Okay, so normally you would do this like in a roasting pan, so you would have like... Oh my God, I don't know how this is gonna work. Okay, this is what's gonna be interesting because this is where things go wrong because I don't have an actual roasting pan. I do half a cup of white wine and you want to just like scrape it all up. And make sure everything is good. I have to have like a serving tray somewhere. Half a cup of chicken stock, which is right here. There you go. You mix it for a minute straight until it like thickens. This is from the last line and I'm afraid. Really Welcome to a day in the life of Lauren. My Thursday plans tonight. Kenzie's making me. It's Wednesday. Oh fuck. Yeah. It, my off. Wednesday night plans. Kenzie's making me engagement chicken. I don't know what her expectations are, but I will Alyssa go to. Alyssa and Colby to get engaged, so I can just. Yeah. Alyssa and Colby will be engaged. Yeah. It's not for me. Oh yeah. Sorry. Not for you. But um, it's looking incredible, don't you think? I Do you think, think it looks really good. Myself? Yeah. I mean, you haven't had it yet. No, but I know it's gonna be good. I didn't hey, know. this looks incredible. Perfect timing. Oh, really good. The couple of the hour. I'm still wearing my dragon when you on. Good, thank Why? God. I somehow forgot to film them eating it, but it was really, really good. Right, Lauren? It was so, so good. Really? No, it actually was really good. I needed that genuine reaction on the camera. I knew it was. Um, it was incredible. Even the lemon was good. Caramelized onions. Everything was incredible. And I think I've really given them the push that they needed. And I'm ready for it. I just needed something new in my life. And like, you know, not about me, about someone else. So anyways, now Lauren and I are actually going to a comedy show. 
I feel like, do you think Martha Stewart goes to shows like this? She does dinner and a show with friends. Maybe not a comedy show, but like... A show? Yeah. I feel like she even maybe goes to comedy shows. Like if her friend's in town and he's a comedian. Maybe like a wine bar. Yeah, that's true. Well, she goes to shows, so um, we're doing dinner and a show. We finished just now. The fact that it's not 11 p.m. is so crazy to me. It's 7.45. I know. I, I'm about to play some pump-up music. Great. We're going to four-day four weekend comedy show. Wow. It looks so cute. Are you ready to crack up? To cry? Crack up. Oh, crack up? Yeah. <laughs> How's the drink? looking interesting. Yeah, it's really good. It's so good. <laughs> it kind of feels like you're in Max and Lily. Max and Lily? Turns out it's Dash and Lily, not Max and Lily. No! <laughs> we just got out of the show, guys. It was so funny. You were right. I agree. Well, it was my idea to come, so I wasn't against it. You've never been here, though. No, I haven't. It was so good. I haven't been to an improv show since, like, I lived in L.A., and it was so good. If you guys are in Dallas, come. Also, Lauren's idea, she give you go on, like, a random date with a person, with a guy or whoever, it needs to be here. Yeah, 100%. You bring them here. You find out if they're funny. Yeah. If they laugh at the right jokes, then you know you're in the clear. It gives you a good, like... I'm going home if I don't vibe with you and you don't have to talk to them the whole time. Yeah, but it gives you like something to talk about and it like loosens everything up, you know? Also, just wanted to end off this vlog by letting you guys know that Lauren is in fact in T-Pain's 0.01% top listeners on Spotify Wrapped. Winning champion. Yeah, if you guys listen to the podcast, you know. If not, you need to listen to the last episode. Sharing our fears of our 20s. That was it. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. Love you guys so much. Bye. On one hand, <laughs> I always do have this like little doubt of like, oh, well, people actually like this song. Like it might be total trash and I just don't know it. Um, but at the same time, if it's just like one person that can connect to the song and um, can inspire them to do what they love or inspire them in, in, in any way, then I'm like, okay, I've done my job.